Hello everyone, this is Yash and uh, I'll be talking about uh, language models and large language models. Some of the ideas that encapsulate uh, ChatGPT and uh, other similar products. It's very hot these days, these products and uh, I just want to discuss the ideas or, or the storyline uh, that comes uh, along with this product. Uh, we'll not be implementing or coding anything in this video, but maybe in the in the next or the subsequent videos we'll actually get 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 our hands dirty and we'll build something as well. So uh, the thing that uh, the central idea around all of this is uh, a language model or an LM. So what exactly is an LM? An LM takes a string as input. So let's say an example like she is, and uh, it will sort of predict the next word. So she is, uh, let's say, uh, watching. So let's say this is what uh, the LM has predicted, watching. Now, uh, there can be many uh, words that can come instead of watching, but it just uh, pre predicts like the top probable, top most probable word. It highly depends on the kind of data that uh, the, our LM has been trained on. Uh, you see it, it it's not uh, it's like human language it's not very random like the order of words it's not extremely random there is some pattern to it and uh, the lm exactly tries to uh, model that pattern uh, it's like uh, she is uh, like running sleeping you can say these kind of words uh, maybe like nouns as well like she is president or uh, or some adjective like she is beautiful or something and uh, but there won't be like something like uh, is again so let's say she is is so is as a prediction is quite uh, less likely or or very rare uh, you can say it's almost impossible uh, or words like january so uh, so she is January. Uh, January is also possible. So she is January born or something. Uh, we can say like in this case it becomes uh, adverb of time January. So uh, so it's 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 possible, uh, but it's still uh, you know like uh, very rare maybe uh, or 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 less likely. Not very rare, but uh, less likely compared to watching or or some verb like sleeping or something. So this is how the LMs work. It uh, highly depends on the data that it has been trained on. The data that is needed for or an LM to train, it's uh, it's just a plain text data. So uh, so just the text, uh, like consider a book or something which has a human language, like a proper human language, <laughs> uh, which is readable and understandable. It's not like completely random or anything. So if we give that to an LM model, it will uh, sort of model uh, the patterns that are there. It will try to learn it. Uh, the more the data, the better it is for the model. Uh, if you want to see an example of uh, how an LM works actually and the, some little bit of math behind it, I've made a video around n-gram language model. It's a very simple uh, mo model how we can uh, build it. Uh, there are more sophisticated ones after that, which uh, which uses neural network deep learning, and now uh, there's a whole uh, bunch of uh, models which uses transformers. So transformers have been shown to perform the best, uh, and uh, that is what is driving the current state of the art and chat GPT and all of those things. Now, if you if you think about it, uh, if you really think about it, uh, you'll ask. Uh, how are these LMs even useful, right? We are giving in some uh, input and uh, we are getting the completion basically, like like the words. How is it even useful? So uh, what? how we can think about it is uh, we can start using these LMs to actually build solutions. So uh, what do I mean is uh, rather than, uh, you know, giving it a random sentence, we can actually give it a like a question. So let's say I give a question like capital of India so uh, and and what I can do is I can write answer and I can end the string there so if I say if this is my string I, 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 I write a Q, Q for question and I end it with an A so hopefully it will complete it with the answer right 
so uh, this is the idea like we'll start getting answers we can start getting answers as well but uh, it really depends on the data that lm has been trained on if uh, lm has never seen <laughs> delhi or something in its text this might be difficult uh, to uh, still give give the solution for so this is how the story continues and uh, that is what researchers uh, uh, do so what they do is uh, they they sort of uh, increase the data uh, which is used to train uh, these language models and uh, when the data goes up uh, we uh, increase the model size as well uh what do i mean by increase the model size is we increase the learnable parameters in 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 the model so more parameters can be learned or or more weights are there and uh, increase of data means internet scale of data which includes uh, like a, a web crawl or or you can say like a chunk of internet which uh, whichever is possible like publicly available and which can be which can be crawled or scraped so for instance uh, this video i'm putting uh, maybe like the transcript of this video can be taken and uh, you'll get that text to uh, you know train your uh, language model uh, the posts maybe you uh, might have made some facebook post or reddit post or something so those posts can also be included in in within the data so it's all on the internet people like you have me have contributed all this data over the past years and this data can be used to train the language models now when the data increases uh, maybe in the internet scale so it's like around 10 tbs of data that we are looking at and uh, the model parameters are in billions so it's like tens or even hundreds of billions of parameters are present so these are like tens or even hundreds of billions of parameters uh we'll also need uh, so uh, if if the model goes this big and if we are training this large of data we will also need more compute very high compute and by compute i mean gpu so uh, so that's where the whole story comes to an end <laughs> uh, we'll require a lot of gpu which requires a lot of money <laughs> so with this money goes up uh, and that's why all the big organizations are able to train uh, these big models and uh, when you sort of train these language models on this huge of 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 data uh, which is actually such so big then it's called as llm which is large language model and uh, all these big organizations can do it because it costs millions and it requires some time for uh, for it to be trained maybe like months or so uh, with a lot of gpus uh, so <laughs> they can afford it so they train it and uh, yeah we don't do anything <laughs> we only use it <laughs> i guess uh but yeah like uh, some organizations have been uh, very kind enough to open source their models as well so these llms uh, it's available the the pre trained llms so you don't have to do a, do any training you can just pick the model and run it and it runs on uh, on your local machine as well so there are these uh, llms that uh, that come in market right so everyone knows gpt or uh, uh, gpt is the lm and uh, chat gpt is like the product or or you can say like a fine tuned version of it uh, this this model is proprietary it's not, it, you can access it only through api or uh, web interface uh, or or like the web browser that you uh, use right to use chat gpt or something but you can't run gpt on your local machine unless you work for open ai <laughs> but uh, some some companies some organizations uh, like meta has uh, launched uh, llama uh, it's a llama 2 or llama or or you can say llama series of models or uh, there is other models like falcon and uh, bloom and other models are there like lot of, lots of models are there maybe depending on the time when you're watching this video there will be many more new better models that come out hopefully <laughs> so uh, for now these are the this is the state and uh, these models you can actually download them and run run it on your local 
you don't have to use any internet to use them i mean once you download it uh, you can just run it and without any api or without any web interface or anything as such you can just use these models out of the box we'll see how how to exactly use these models in the next video but uh, that's uh, about it that's like the whole idea of uh, how the llm story comes into picture uh, there is a uh, uh, lots of things like around llm so i would like I, ju i just want to talk about prompt engineering as a field that came up so uh, when when we give some input sentence or some instructions uh, to these llms there are specific way in which uh, we can specify these inputs to llm so that we get desired output or desired answers so let's say sentiment uh, sentiment classification if i say if i am uh, asking the llm to do to tell me like what sentiment this sentence belongs to and uh, i'm just passing it uh, i'm just passing in the sentence uh, so maybe rather than me saying it that way it it makes more sense to put the sentence first and then say like what is the above sentence sentiment for the above sentence something like that so so the the way you uh, put in this input uh, is called prompt engineering and uh, researchers have found that uh, if you uh, for for certain questions if you do prompting in certain way uh, it will give uh, more accurate answers so we'll see all that it's very interesting uh, the other part is uh, act which comes uh, around uh, uh, like when we talk about llms uh, this things uh, come around and uh, what what do i mean by act is we give llms access to tools so we give some tools to these llms which uh, llms can access via apis what do i mean by that is uh, when we prompt something like uh, let's say book a flight so we don't just want llm to uh, you know tell us something but we actually want llm to do something so rather than just uh, you know uh, printing the answer or something it can print like api calls so api call and uh, it might say the source and destination and it will uh, oh I, sh I, sh i think i should draw it here so it it might say like source and destination and, and it can send the api uh, to some endpoint so as soon as we see this text appearing api call we can actually copy paste this payload and we can actually make the api call as well so that is what um, it means by giving access to tools to these llms and uh, yeah that is the whole field of act so other than act there is also this field of uh, security around llms uh, like how can we uh, make llms not to generate any uh, profane kind of words or wrong things so uh, something like if someone asks how to destroy this planet uh, <laughs> we don't want llms to answer that <laughs> maybe <laughs> so uh, how do we st stop llms to do that and uh, Uh, and uh, even if we stop there is a whole field of jail breaking and uh, you know prompt hacking which comes like even if it's not answering how to uh, try and still get the answer out using these llms so those are some some more things uh, security related things yeah and there is uh, one more part like uh, thinking part so it comes uh, around llm again so llms uh, right now is just generating uh the completion or the answer we can say but it's not really thinking it it doesn't have any uh, you know sense of knowledge so uh, or 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 I, sh i shouldn't say knowledge i should say like uh, the reasoning it it doesn't have any reasoning as such so how can we uh, you know make llms uh, make like a thinking tree that uh, hey it's because of this word that is present in the sentence that is why the sentiment can be like this or or it it should be able to sort of reason these things and uh, you know like the whole thought process should go on within llm's mind <laughs> so this is uh, another field around llm that is there uh, these are some of the things that are around llm prompt engineering security acting thinking uh, there can be many more i know only these uh, if you know some you can put in the comments as well uh so yeah in the next video we'll actually see uh, you know maybe we can start with uh, llama or something 
and uh, how we can actually use uh, Llama models or, or some existing open source uh, LLMs uh, to get these answers and all. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any queries, you can put in the comments or uh, we can also connect on LinkedIn. Uh, I'll give the link in the description if you want. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, there are two things I, I also wanted to, uh, you know, I thought I'll say it in, in next videos, but uh, this seems like a right place, so I'll say it here itself. So there are also these concepts of uh, RAG and uh, fine tuning. So they also come along uh, when we talk about LLMs, uh, so along with prompt engineering and uh, security thinking, acting, uh, we also have these two things, a RAG. Uh, this is retrieval augmented generation. So uh, let's say you want to, you have a document, uh, like, like an internal document, uh, which uh, LLM doesn't know about. Uh, so uh, like if you want to pass it through LLM, this is the doc. And uh, if you want to sort of, uh, you know, talk to this doc or ha do question answering from this doc, if the answer is contained within this doc, then uh, LLM might not be able to answer it purely without uh, any context. So what we do is we, uh, we augment this document along with our question and we say that, uh, hey, uh, can you find the answer from, from this document? And uh, all the context is attached with it. Now, uh, LLMs have like a fixed window of input. It can't take uh, infinite input. So very long documents uh, can't be processed through LLM. So what we do is we break the, these documents uh, into chunks and one of the chunk is retrieved where the answer is present and that chunk is added as context while prompting the LLM for answer. So this is uh, like we retrieve the most uh, relevant chunk from this document and then we ask the question so that the answer is present in that context itself and a whole document need not be provided to the LLM. So that is what we call retrieval augmented generation. Uh, we augment the generation process, the answer generation process with uh, this retrieval step. We'll see how it works and uh, I'm planning to make more videos on this in detail. But uh, I thought I'll just at least introduce this concept here in this video. Uh, then we have fine tuning. So uh, let's say you have like a particular data set uh, with like X and Y. So, okay, this is X, this is Y. Uh, so you have uh, like a proper input output kind of pairs, uh, like a very specific task for your use case, your uh, maybe you're working on some project or, or as an organization, you have some project where uh, you want to do very, very specific classification kind of thing. So maybe you have two labels, uh, like, like two intents or something which is specific to your project. Uh, so LLMs might not be, uh, you know, like out of the box, it might not uh, be able to classify them. But uh, if we have the data set for those, we can uh, fine tune an LLM. We can fine tune an LLM uh, and uh, uh, then we can use the LLM by giving X as input and uh, we hopefully get Y as output. Uh, we'll see how everything works uh, in fine tuning. There are, there are a lot of things in fine tuning. It's not just about X and Y pairs. Uh, it's about the way LLM speaks as well. Uh, like we can sort of guide the LLM to speak or, or to generate in a certain way, uh, in a certain style or in certain formats. So that is where fine tuning uh, becomes very useful. Uh, these, these models that we spoke about, Llama, Falcon, they are not fine tuned models, they are pre-trained models and that those models we use them as base, base models. And we sort of, uh, if this is the base model, let's say this LLM, then we add like a small layer which we train. So we need not train the whole model, we just do the training of this layer or some or it's called fine tuning uh, only only specific parts of the model are trained so that it does is not it's not very computationally expensive uh, we'll see how how this is done as well in subsequent videos i'm planning to make this uh, like way ahead in future maybe not not the next video right now but uh, this is also very interesting and uh, we'll see how llm generates with fine tuning as well yeah that's all thanks